Okay, so you weren't out there very long. You got the job done in the first period against a guy. First off, Wick is massive. How are you able to get to his legs and horse him how you were? You got a couple of laces going. How are you? You look strong, man. You look real good. Uh, I mean, as far as size, I just feel like, you know, height doesn't really, you know, always tell the difference in size. I feel like I'm pretty good for the weight. I, uh, it's not easy to make. <laughs> well, I'll never make it easy on myself, but I've been doing really good in my diet and uh, my warm-ups, my training, like just every, all the little stuff that sometimes I've, I've been leisurely with, especially diet. Um, you know, I've been really working on it and, and changing it and slowly coming down. Um, you know, uh, about five months ago, I was over 200 pounds, so like, I'm like 30 pounds lighter and I feel a lot better. And, uh, you know, so I think that's where the strength comes from, comes from having pop and having my feet under me. And uh, just, you know, I always feel like I, I'm always in shape. I always have gas, but the only reason I don't is uh, annoying from something I did, whether it be, you know, the cut or just, you know, so, so that's, I think, that, that's a big difference in, in my lesson is just doing all that little stuff that, over and over and over again, even when it gets monotonous. Where do you go from here to April? You're at 79 tonight. Where do you go from here to April and, and the... the is there last chance qualifier on your mind? What are you gonna do? Are you a yeah, seventy nine I mean, kilo guy? I would, yeah. Um, I like seventy nine kilos, but I gotta, you know, obviously there's, you know, I gotta make a choice, and I'm going down. I'm slowly descending, you know, and, and that's the thing. Doing it over time, doing it right, um, and continuing to make sure I pop each time, and you know, making sure I'm wrestling live and practice a little bit lighter each time. You know, not just wrestling live when I feel good. You know, and. Uh, yeah, so I and I did last year's qualifier because uh, back in 2019 I, I had a forfeit out of the US Open with uh, Tori Madden. So. Okay, balancing the dad life, what's it like? Uh, it's it's tough. You know, it's more uh, more than anything. It's a uh, it's a guilt trip tough because uh, <laughs> um, like there's there's a lot of times I'm not there a whole lot. You know, like I travel I travel pretty far in the Navy each day. Some days I stay. Uh, like Perez or somewhere overnight and um, you know so I, I try to make sure that I'm and trust me there's somebody who tries to hold me accountable for it that when I'm around that I need to be around um, you know and be present when I'm around you know uh, not just there in the room um, but I actually need to be doing something with my kids and paying attention because honestly every time I blink my eye they're, they're just getting so old and it's, you know so I think the biggest thing about balance is like just Taking a step back and trying to do something I've been trying to do this every day at practice, every day. I try to smile three times a day. Wrestling's just too tough not to smile. Right? And I make it so tough for myself like by trying to be hard-nosed and gritty and straightforward about things. And It's just too tough of a sport to do that every day and then try to come home and have an interview with the kids. So I just try to smile three times a day and just, you know, and, and try to have fun in what I'm doing because this stuff it's, it doesn't last forever. Okay. Do they have the, the freak chance jeans do they have it yeah they're nutty like they're they're they got some other jeans i was a little fat kid like <laughs> I, was, I was a little fat kid I, there was, used to be kids in the club at Colot. like i remember winning my first national title and, like would literally tell me like good job fatty <laughs> like <laughs> come on let's say the kids in the club you know they're they said that to you? yeah man like and uh i'll never forget it you know like that's why i work my ass off like my kids are like they're just big like my thick three, my three year old weighs 48 pounds so they're thick three in my not even two year old weighs like 38 they're just big boys and they oh my God. beat the hell out of each other each day and it's fun to watch man because you see like sometimes they come into practice or something you just see like that you don't teach them anything but that's how much they learn on their own so that just reminds me each and every day like what i do when no one's looking what i do when no one's looking is like somebody's always looking and if, and if it's not someone you know that's an adult it's my kids and you know, you see it like like my, my one kid will be hitting like a low single to a leg lace on the floor and my other one and I'm like, where did you learn that? I didn't teach you that. They just they just watch things and they soak it up. So, you know, I gotta kinda watch my steps and have them try to do a lot of stuff I didn't do as a kid or just or growing up, have them, you know, do the stuff I wish I would have done All right, you know. So So it's Navy. You're at Navy right now. Antonelli was in your corner. Are you at Navy? Where are you I training? Train, I train I train at Navy almost every day of the week, and then I train a club um, kind of in between Philly and where I'm at. I live in York. Um, How far is that? Uh, it's an to, hour and a half. To, na to Navy? Yeah. So, oh, it's um, only an hour and a half? Yeah. That's not terrible. Um, but I train a club called Turk's Head. We're really grown. have a couple young studs in there. 
my boys at home, Sammy McMonagall, Nate Lucier, Dom Fandora, Kevin Rainey. Got a lot of young kids that are, uh, uh, I really think will be in the state finals or state champs this year. They got, most of those kids will be in that pen card coming up. Um, you know, so I train them, and if I'm not training them, I'm at Navy, and um, when I'm out there, I'm, you know, trying to enjoy time with my kids and my family, so. What's your next card? I don't know. I, whoever wants it. I hope you know Ronnie Perry called you out for the next card. How are you feeling about that one? Oh, come here. Let's go, baby. Oh, here it is. Uh, uh, I know. Are you sure you still want a piece of the Chance Marsteller? So I felt pretty good about it after I match. And then I saw a chance wrestle, and I think we'll save it some other time. Yeah. But we'll I get love the crew it. together, yeah, yeah, we'll get it back together. Again. <laughs> oh, I love it. it. Might not be soon because you might want to get a little more work after that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He looked good. He looked good. Yeah. The guy was way bigger than you. But he looked good. All right. Look good. All right, Chance. Uh, you got anything else? No, sir. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it.